All right, you guys, so I practically ran up my stairs to come tell you this. I was not expecting to do another video with them today, but I have heard it all. I've heard it all. I've heard it all. Let me tell you where I work. I work in a law firm, which is an office within an office building. So um, the office building has about 20 floors, big old tall silver building with big windows, you know, your typical rich people work here building, okay? I'm the backup receptionist for our receptionist. Our receptionist name is Gwen. When she's on break or when she has lunch or whatever, I take over for her. I'm the receptionist. That's part of my job. We have a janitor that comes in. Her name is Jessica. Hispanic woman, gorgeous, young, beautiful, really sweet, sweet as pie. Oh my gosh, sweet as pie. Love her to death. She cleans our restrooms from 12 to 3. She not only cleans the restrooms that are within our lobby, but there's a handicap restroom that is out by the garage door exit. There's a big restroom, big open restroom. Handicap, okay? Everyone can use it, men, women, whatever. She tells us that in cleaning the restroom last week, or I think it was earlier this week actually, she found in the handicap restroom a vibrator. A vibrator. Oh, an actual vibrator. She found a vibrator in the handicapped restroom. Still in its packaging. No, 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 it had been used. But it had been taken out of the packaging and then put back in the packaging because they had tried to put it back together. Price tag still on it, $44.99. It was called the rainbow, colorful, lights and all kinds of stuff, okay? And the tampon trash can that's built into the wall, okay? Stuffed in there, seven inches long, covered in jelly. I would never, I would never expect that. I, I was thinking, like, if I had come up with a list of the most random things that could occur while at work or in that office building, vibrators were not on it. Vibrators did not make the list. It was just like we were sitting there trying to think, like, okay, why would they throw it away? It was $45. Why would you throw it away? You clearly just bought it or you're just opening it or it was just given to you, whatever. Why would you throw it away? If it did not satisfy you or if it malfunctioned, take it back and get your money. Why would you throw it away? So I concluded that the person was not trying to throw it away. I concluded that they were trying to conceal it. They were trying to keep from, from having to take it out and they were going to come back and get it. If you were trying to conceal it, you were gross because then you would have to dig through the tampons to get it up. Then we were concerned about the jelly. We were thinking about the jelly. If it was jelly, whether it be petroleum or KY or who knows, that broadens our suspect list and adds totally, you know, adds the other gender into it. It could have been either, a man or a woman. We don't know. I mean, we have no idea what this person, like, was thinking. There's nothing in that restroom for you to lean on except for the toilet. And I know it wasn't comfortable because it's not one of those toilets where it's got the big, you know, back or whatever that, whatever you call the thing back there with the water in it. It has, it has a little pipe and you push the, you put the little lever thing or whatever. So leaning against that is not the most comfortable thing ever. So, I mean, I can't imagine that they got down on the floor. Well, I guess, you know, with them being as gross as they are, I'm sure that laying on the floor of a public restroom is not too gross for them. We don't think it was anyone in our office. Because despite the fact that we do have some very unpro unprofessional people that work in our office and some of whom, um, they go get drunk on their lunch hour and come back to work, you know, stammering and stuff, or call out sick so they can go have happy hour, you know, all day, or whatever. They're not that sick. You know what I mean? They're not that gross. Like, seriously. That's disgusting. I am not going to talk about anything else in this video because that is, that is enough. That is enough. That's all that needs to be said. And... I will never go in that restaurant again.